Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford and I'm thrilled that you're here to join us today as we're going to teach you a staple at our house called Achiote Chicken Tacos with Grilled Pineapple Salsa. I can't wait to show this one to you and it's all coming up right now. We're in unprecedented times right now in our country as we all experience some kind of a lockdown or quarantine in our cities. And so what I want to show you is a recipe that we use all the time at our house. And it's a lot of fun. If you can get your hands on these ingredients or substitute the ingredients that we have here, I want to show you this is a, this is a taco recipe that we make all the time. So as a special helper today, I've got one of my special helpers who's going to help me with this video. So I want to invite my good buddy Ethan to come on up here. <clears throat> and Ethan's going to help me with this recipe. All right, so this is Ethan. <clears throat> this is my son. And he's going to help us with this recipe here today. Mm -hmm. So Ethan, tell me what we've got on this. On this, Do you know what this is? Um, pineapple. Pineapple. And what's this one? Jalapeno. And what's this? Red onion. And what's this one? Red pepper. And what's this called? A lime. And this one's called cilantro. So can you say cilantro? Cilantro? Yeah. So this is what we really have to get our pineapple salsa going, but we're gonna start by grilling some of these things, right? So we're gonna grill these four things, so it's time to put this out on the grill. You wanna help us get out there? Mm -hmm. All right, show us the way. For today's cook, we fired up the Grill Dome Infinity X2 Kamado. We started by brushing the coals from our last cook around the basket to get rid of some of the ash, then loaded in some new B&B &B lump charcoal. The loof lighter fired things up and got the coals to cooking temperature in less than five minutes. We were grilling these ingredients, so we put the pineapple around the outside of the grill where it's the coolest and the peppers and onions in the middle to get a really good char. The grill dome was running about 500 degrees for this cook, and we let things roll for about four to five minutes per side before we flip things over. Once things had a good char, we removed them from the grill and let them cool so that we could cut them without burning our hands. All right, so we got everything off the grill, and you know what's next, right? Mm -hmm. We've got to cut this up and make our salsa. Now, that means we've got to use a knife, right? <clears throat> and knives we don't play with, right? And since we don't play with knives, we're always going to be careful. So I'm putting on this cut glove so I don't cut my hand. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on this glove so I don't mess up my cut glove, right? That way yeah. I, for easy cleanup. Yeah. So we have all these things we have to put in there, right? But did you know that on this pineapple right here, mm -hmm. that all of this is edible, but the center part's not? Whoa. So what we've got to do is we've got to cut out the core of the pineapple. And the easiest way to do that is just some straight cuts along here. Then you've got the core. We'll take out each side of the core. And we have some lovely little pineapple bites. And we'll take the core and we'll just discard it. All right, so we've got the pineapple all in there. Now we just need to chop up the onion, right? Now, so this onion is pretty easy to chop. I'm just going to cut it in half. And I'll come over here and take the sides, just like this. And mince it up. All right, are you ready to help me lift this? Yeah. Ready, here we go. Put your hand underneath. Put your hand right there. No, on the, on the knife. Just like that. Ready? Nice. Some knife, nice knife action you got there. Thank you. So we've got our pineapple and our onion. All right, remember what this is called? Red pepper. Red pepper. I'm just going to cut this into strips. That's easy. And then we're going to dice it. Ready? Whoa. Here we go. Remember how we did this last time? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Ready? Nice. All right, <clears throat> then we've got the last thing we cooked, which is the jalapenos, right? Yeah. Now I should make these really big pieces so you get a really big bite of jalapeno, right? Mm -hmm. You like really big bites of jalapeno? No. No, I should make these pretty small, right? Yeah. Okay, a little Teeny small. Tiny. All right. How's that? Is it small? 
Mm -hmm. I do this? It is. But the rest of the pieces are big because they are big things. Mm -hmm. The little things are little because they are little things. You're so right. All right, last thing we have is cilantro. Okay, so we're going to give this a little rough chop real quick and get this in. And then are you going to be able, you be able to help me squeeze a little lime? Ooh. All right, ready? Get this in there. It smells good. It smells good? Mm-hmm. Good. Uh-huh. Go. Here, you take this chip right here. I'll take this chip right here, all right? Let's get a little dip. Okay? Need salt. Hmm. That is good. Because there's salt on these chips. Hmm. You think it needs a little salt? Mm hmm. All right, go grab some salt. There you go. Okay, good. All right, now we gotta stir it up some more. Let's stir it up. My favorite. Nice. Okay, now you know what we have to do? Yep. We've got to go outside and put the chicken on the grill. So let me go get the chicken and I'll show you what it looks like, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. It does not look like chicken. It doesn't look like chicken, does it? You know what it, you know what it looks like? What? Chicken in a marinade. It looks like a big blob with marinade. A big blob with mayonnaise? Close. But this is called a marinade, which means you're putting a big flavorful liquid around the chicken so it Ooh. absorbs it and tastes good. So inside this marinade, we have half a brick of achiote paste, and we're gonna put a link in the description below so you can find that. It's delicious, it really makes this recipe work. And in addition to that, we have a quarter cup each of avocado oil, we have some white wine vinegar, we have orange juice, and we have pineapple juice. In addition to those things, we have about two teaspoons of salt and about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. There is also about a quarter cup of onion, and for this recipe, we just use a standard white onion or a yellow onion. And then there was also about half a tablespoon of uh, crushed garlic. So those things together, we just took them and put them in a food processor or in a blender to be able to make this flavorful liquid. And once you put it all together and you get it on the chicken, this changes the color of this chicken before you go and put it out on the grill. And you're gonna have a conversation piece for everybody who comes over wondering how in the world you got that color and that flavor on your chicken. So what's left down is what should we go do with this? Should we go put it on the grill? The grill, we should go do that, right? Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to help me? Yep. Let's do it. Does and it smells yummy too, right? Yeah. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna cut this chicken so we can put it in the tacos, right? Yep. Now <clears throat> this video goes out to our friend Angela, who's celebrating a birthday today, who's the same age as me. So she's just about 29 for the a few times uh, over. And this is also out to Dell, who out on the YouTube channel is asking us to make more recipe videos. So Dell, this recipe video, this is for you, man. Thanks for asking. So I guess the question is, what do you want to see us cook next? P put a comment in, in the link in the description below. Let us know what you want to see us cook next, all right? All right, so we're going to chop this chicken up so we can put it in the tacos. Ready? Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> All right, should we try a little bite of this? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Here, grab that with your finger. Got it? What do you think? It's good. Also juicy. Mmm. Good and juicy? Mmm. Yummy. So let's make our tacos. Ready? Okay. We're going to start with a little bit of chicken. Ooh. Oh, the ch ch chicken. All right, then we're going to start with a little chicken in this one here. Ooh, for Angela. Wait. For Angela. Yep, this is for Angela. One of the benefits of being in town is that Angela's going to get a little special delivery here when we're done. Uh-huh. Celebrate her birthday. Yep. Oh, so we left, we made some codes for her. Yeah, cool. And her favorite. All right, <clears throat> so we've got our chicken. Ooh. Now we need a little salsa. You ready? Yeah. I'll put it on one, you put it on the other, okay? So look, we're going to put a little bit of this in here. Yeah, all right, just like that. That's okay. Now, we'll get a little bit like this. You ready? Let's put it in there. There we go. Yummy. All right, check that out. So, <clears throat> and if you're interested, this little this little taco stand, uh, we're going to put a link in the description below, but we absolutely love those around our house. It actually leaves your taco standing up as you're getting ready to eat dynamite. So we'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in that. All right, I think it's time to give these a try. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to hold it up, and you try a bite and tell me what you think. That was a bite and a half, my friend. <laughs> You can tell us when you have it fully digested. How about I try one? Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. I guess this is the uh, the day of coronavirus here. So let me. Uh... You yeah, right? They have. <laughs> they have the teeny bit of the bone. It, oh, it has bone. Mm. Let me see. That literally does have bone in it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I got. I've got the bees that have the bone. <laughs> I've got the bees that. <laughs> so our boneless, skinless chicken breast uh, apparently has bone in it. So, hey, can't make that up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it by the other side. Let's see if I get bone too. <laughs> you might will. Bone. Mm. Oh come. Mmm. I want another piece. You do. <laughs> yep. I hope it did not have a bone. Mm. Mm. I'm falling in love with this. <clears throat> That's a good recipe. You know what? I want to say thank you for helping me. It was fun cooking with you, Ethan. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and hopefully you enjoy this too. Hopefully you'll give this recipe a try. Accio take chicken with grilled pineapple salsa. It's delicious. And <clears throat> just like everybody else today, we're uh, working with helpers. <clears throat> so my co-worker here, I want to say thanks to Ethan for helping us out. So <clears throat> if you like what you saw today in the Barbecue Lab, make sure you like us and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you get notified of new videos that are coming out. And also, let us know what it is that you want, to be, uh, want us to be cooking or reviewing so we can go out and find that and make sure we review it for you. So thanks for joining us here on the Barbecue Lab where we bring you the newest gear reviews, techniques, and recipes to be able to make your home awesome and your backyard the entertainment capital of the neighborhood. We'll see you next time here on the Barbecue Lab. <laughs> I love it.